Hey, you're watching Fat Man DD1, you dingus. Whatever he said. Yo, well, this is Fat Man DD1. Okay, now we're gonna get into this. <clears throat> we are going to move into this as the best way as possible. Because now I found out I only record like four minutes. So we're gonna move into this. Yesterday, Batman the Killing Joke dropped online. Everybody's seen it. Everybody, you know, it's it's gonna be amazing. People are gonna cop the Blu-rays, the, the HD DVDs. Everybody's gonna cop everything. Last night, I want to talk about one part, and we're going to move into the rest of the killing joke like later today. Um, this is just major for me. Batgirl's Fatal Attraction. That's why I titled it. I was going to title it Batgirl's Killing Joke, Batgirl's um, love, with, uh, love With Harm, or some shit. But Batgirl's Fatal Attraction is why I titled this entire video. Because Batgirl is that one character that you gotta love, you gotta hate, but... If you don't, then awesome. But she's, oh my goodness. Her in this entire film was perfect. Basically, the entire first part of the movie is Batgirl and Batman and Batgirl's love for Batman. And there's a lot there that is undiscovered in the comics. You know, we, we got in Batman Beyond that they were once an item, you know, or like a like and we got we got further they were once a thing and it turned into a serious moment you know um we just didn't know how they were a thing because you know the comics and batman and all that but there are certain comics that prove that they are together i don't know how dick grayson's gonna feel about that but moving forward into the movie she becomes um unhinged she becomes uh, more of Batman than he ever wants to, to see in himself that she finds her own Joker called Paris France. Paris France is a dick. He basically, his uncle is um, one of these like strong crime bosses in Gotham City. He has power, connections, money, everything. Batgirl has to take him down. She believes she should take him down, but love at first sight kind of or shock at first sight because he's so gorgeous and that blah, blah blah but the guy is psychotic like the joker she is his own joker and that is where batman draws a line he's like wait this dude is crazy he's addicted he'll laugh at you and cut your throat when he thinks he's gotten you and that well i'm paraphrasing but that's what batman said like what goes deep within the character's psyche is this dude was trying to be with her and also trying to kill her at the same time that forced her to make a dual decision. And Batman had to make that decision further. He said, I'm cutting you this off. And as she does, you know, we have a conversation with her and her, uh, this cool dude she works at a library with as Barbara Gordon, that she's in love with Batman. She has a connection with Batman. She cares for him. And there's a beautiful sex scene. And that sex scene produces love, produces energy. They do care. And it, it makes Bruce up here contemplate saving Gotham and saving her two people that she cares about that he cares about the city and her it's hard to deal with that it's hard to come you know to terms with that Paris France catches him off guard rocket launchers Batgirl goes in to save Bruce and totally fucks up Paris France leaving him so bloody that she sees the abyss that Batman's talked about the abyss that he has entered before with the Joker and honestly it was strong it was crazy, and she never wants to go back. So that's why she quit being Batgirl. That's what they said. Now, so, like, nothing else. The movie, that part of the movie was amazing because it was not just about Batgirl. It was also about Batgirl and her love and her caring for Batman and also Batman's dual decision of keeping her on a case and also caring for her because he does have feelings for her because she does wear the cape and cow she knows what it's like to be in this line of work and they took it on bigger things they have the voice work of tara strong as the original bad girl is amazing the commissioner gordon voice work is amazing mark hamill returning as the joker was just fucking gorgeous and having like having even uh uh conroy um the batman himself like kevin conroy return and just just kill this like you don't understand the if you haven't watched the anime series that's the iconic voice of batman the iconic voice of joker the iconic voice of batgirl uh commissioner gordon and so on these guys take it to the level and 
watching it was just beautiful. From one story to the next, it was like a comic book in itself with a whole new revamp on one person that we care about and then an entire revamp in story into the Joker, Batman, and just finding out a good relationship. But later on today, I'm going to move into the killing joke, uh, the full killing joke. So stay tuned with me. Um, I'm not going to have time now. Maybe uh, by the end of the day, I'm going to talk about it. But right now, I got stuff to do. So if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 200 subscribers. We're trying to move forward with my YouTube career and with everything else I'm trying to do. So if you're with me, if you're staying tuned, if you're tuned in, thank you. If you're not tuned in, bro, tune in and tell me what you think. Down in the description below or down in the comment section, comment, uh, tell me what you think if you haven't seen it yet, if you have watched it, if you haven't, uh, if I spoiled everything for you, I told you this is a spoiler review. So, Fatal Attraction, Batgirl, spoiler review. And my name is FatmanDD1. Subscribe. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Much love to you all. Peace.